What's up YouTube? My name is Rob and I am back for another reaction video. Now this time around, um, I'm checking out, I'm going back to Fire in the Booth. And this time around, I'm going back to Akala, a rapper that I've done a reaction to before. And when I did a reaction to him, it was the first time I have heard of the guy. Um, and it was, the, it was the first time I heard of the guy as a rapper. And I saw the part one of his Fire in the Booth. Now apparently, and I didn't notice at the time, he went on to go and make like four parts to his Fire in the Booth stuff. He had four different Fire in the Booth parts that people really liked. Now, when I made that first part, apparently the people had a whole, a whole um, different controversy and a whole different thoughts about, hey, Rob, well, how should you react to them and stuff like that. And bottom line, people kept saying, well, hey, you needed to see the rest of them because if you didn't see the rest of them, you don't get the full Akala experience. You don't get the full message of what he was trying to explain, what he was trying to display, right? Um, I heard, and I heard this through a very a bunch of different comments. Like one said, you need to check out um, parts two and three. One says you need to check out parts three and four. One says you need to check out two and four, and then vice versa, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Look, I'm just gonna check out the rest of them, okay? Because people like Akala, obviously. Y'all like Fire in the Booth, obviously. It's a no-brainer. So I'm gonna check out Akala. I had a really, really awesome time with him last time when I checked him out had a really deep, powerful message he was talking about. Um, a big thing he was talking about was um, incarceration and uh, the current uh, incarceration problems we have going on here in the U.S. and really um, how we can take steps to deal with that. And really, I, and, and one of the things I noticed about and talked about how big it was, was how much of a problem it was or it is just throughout the world, not just over here. And it really is a hard-hitting, powerful thing. And... When I saw that first video, it shocked me so much that I was going to do that fire in the booth and I was going to do uh, make righteous fire in the booth. I was going to do it as a combined thing, but I was just so taken back. I said, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it in one video. It'd be way too long. I just wanted to reflect and give each video the time and attention that they deserve. I'm going to do the same thing with these. So. Of the first of the three Akala videos I'm going to do today, I'm going to do Akala Fire in the Booth Part 2, which is the one you're watching right now, Akala Fire in the Booth Part 3, and Part 4. They're going to be in other videos. But, then there was, a, there was a bunch of people that requested them, and requested that I do the rest of the Akala videos, but of the people that I'm going to give a shout out to, um, that specifically call out Part 2, I'm going to say, um, one, The Bunny Monster. Yeah, he's had a few different videos to request it. All right, so the Bunny Monster, we got him as that's his YouTube handle. We got George Best, so like George, George and Best, that's his YouTube handle. And then there was this other one that was just one name, uh, Ada. I was like, okay, cool, you go, girl, Ada. All right, so we gonna check that out. Without further ado, I'm kicking this thing off in three, two, one. Click. I know you're gonna dig this. Oh, yeah. Yep. Perfect. Man, call it, brother. You know what time it is when you hear this, right? right? Uh, Bring it back, Let's get ready to rumble. Yo, a caller. Wow. Knowledge is huh? power. Volume yes. one mixtape 28 for May. Listen, a caller music.com. Chase. Tiny bit more vocal, please, actually. Listen, knowledge is power, always. I agree. Listen. The scam, brother, the scam! Oi, mate, my personal life's great. Some of you would love me more if I rub that in your face. Okay, well, let us run down the resume and have a little chat about a car that's living today. Big whip, nice yard, been all over the globe. Look how many continents that I have done. Shows, couple little companies, neat little office, everything going swell. Little bit of profit, built a business, educating kids from the block. So far as I'm concerned, you gotta be a mug to not rate him. Oh, my own masters, still my own master. Novels and scripts on the way. Rap it's just a part of the genius in his head And he knows it, dickhead Since I used to kick ball for West Ham with my big head Back in school days wearing hang-me-downs from my sister And Gal was still onto man Now that's some Ross charisma It's just a nipper I took my first pull of Rizla And what you think gave me that? Yeah, my bigger sister So when we speak a struggle, cousin, it's yours You know the same old madness Working class poor, yeah So may have won a couple
couple of wards. I guarantee you that my family just as messed up as yours. All the abuse mm. and the alcoholism and drug addiction. Uncles mm. going to prison. This is working class living in Britain. It ain't great. You gotta be kidding. So please don't ever get confused by me spitting. Cause yes, I said the ghetto's in our head, but no, I didn't mean. If you live next to a food yard, let us in your dreams. I meant believing in the madness they spout about us. It's far more dangerous than putting us in council houses. So yeah, I criticize, but from a place of love, never, ever. Cause I think the upper come above every young brother you wanna judge as a tug it's me man that's a little guidance and love so i think that you're the mug and why be smug when it's an actual fact we all commit crime simply by paying tax because we didn't go and tickle them people in iraq and ask them so politely for all the minerals we extract we blew children's mm. heads off set fire to backs with a gangster nation get down and you get clapped so when you see the mm. running around on the road with heaters don't be surprised they're just copying their leaders long as the wars stay in places that are brown and poor we can all pretend to be abhorred but we applaud if you go up to nights but you can get violent the policeman that duckers you will probably get knighted if i don't want to fight you cuz it ain't cuz i'm frightened i'd just rather fight with those who really think they're tight and i ain't scared of bleeding i am scared of breathing another okay. breath in this world where everything is so uneven when millions murdered in the congo when it's barely news but if a footballer's wife should buy a pair of shoes i'm supposed to give up apparently i do not wow. the world's a reflection of your block and if you think a world that profit from their death and be totally cool thinks you're better could you live here you're a bloody fool look around at genocide and abuse i swear to humanity ain't nothing but a virus with shoes then i pick my nephew up from school and i look at the youths and see the love they show each other and i'm just so confused because they ain't learned yet what is their race or religion so we're born unconditioned but we learn to play our position in the system look what that does to our recognition of self we grow suspicion of our own intuition now listen a girl is sick way raps about racism too much could you imagine i gave a flame Cause it's amazing how many want to claim they love this music With no respect for the actual struggle that produced it Did hip hop mm. not start in segregated hoods? Are them hoods not still segregated? So it's really good Are the First Nation not still on reservations Where the age of 46 is the average life expectation Perfect. And fellas, I weren't aware the favelas Could been suddenly knocked down and replaced with something better If you got sense, you see fights are joined And race, class and gender besides are the same coin So if you're really down for justice Whoever the people who suffers, whoever you are I can see to you my sister's brothers but call it what it is like Carlin or Bill Hicks not these patronizing left wing little twits that ask me bad. dumb shit on a superior tip I wanna act like cause I read I saw less violence as a kid don't make me an exception for your mental protection from accepting the madness in the system we are left in that was the clearest thing to come of August events all the closet bigots started speaking their minds again so when a Jamaican or Asians misbehaving of course it's cause of their skin blonde hair kills a million people that's just him and it's entertaining some people are so yeah. sick but I prefer that than all of the fake grins wow. Cause it's yeah. the only problem people claim they wanna solve But don't actually wanna talk about how it evolved You are told, this country really, really yours, sir? What they did to brown people did to their own poor first And originally in the States Working class whites were also enslaved That no one talks about it today Ever since the master came with the system of privilege Made the working whites the overseers, mulattoes, the house Cause put the darkest blacks in the field That mind is with us still Billion dollar industry, skin cream and bleaching pills And let's be honest most people are my complexion To this very day still think they're better than the darker section You say it's changed then only educate me about Wilberforce Not about the Africans in Haiti Who beat the armies of the British, Spanish and Napoleon From the moment they stolen them There was no control in them When I was in school she said no you never fought for freedom No we freed you and you were on your knees pleading And what's more did you know that we kind of saved you From the barbarism of Africa You should be grateful when enough of our own people Can't be bothered to read That they actually believed that we were swinging from trees they don't know the kingdom of Congo had embassies in Italy 500 years ago Literally ain't heard of St. Maurice nor Septimus Severus They ain't studying the past cause they think it's irrelevant An attempt to pretend an ancient Egyptians went African Nothing more than pseudo-intellectual lies They obviously ain't read what Aristotle and Herodotus said yeah. About people that they saw for their own eyes And Egypt's been invaded since the fall of the pharaohs Not once, not twice, but many, many times So nobody wants to explain why so many statues are missing noses Even when them statues made of granite It ain't one people alone Mistaught about themselves, we live on Celtic 
Dogland But don't learn about the Celts the same Irish people you characterise as stupid During the dark ages Some of the most educated living in Europe And did you learn mm. The numbers you count with every day Was invented by Indian people? I bet you didn't Or how many million Indians Fought for Britain in both world wars Still you got the cheek to call them immigrants We don't learn about the Moors of course For some that knowledge dangerous Is it a problem the impact they had on the Renaissance When people take power yeah. over another group wow. Who minimise their achievements So we can make it feel true So if you think Columbus was first to sail ocean blue You probably believe Elvis invented rock and roll too And oh, for the record, no doubt I believe in peace But not for one second and they'll turn the other cheek What about Leif Erikson? Slap you, slap them back, take teeth The only way your bully ever learn is getting beat Fire, Harris? fire with fire, nah, no, fire with water See the life giving force is stronger than the destroyer That's why these MCs can't speak to me No, all men are not made easy my brain's made of iron fibre Conducting the livest wire My average grade's higher than Oxford or Cambridge require I don't want credit because I got a message I want credit because I'm the best MC Dead it When I came out way back in 04 Sister I just won every award Most man would have done the bait thing Put big sits on the chorus chords That would have been A-list draw Quickly I would have been famous more But look how I came in this thing raw Bang up the streets some more If I am seed and I heard me rap I'd be like what the I ain't never gonna be that good So I better not push my luck He will embarrass me Only insanity would make you challenge me Better hope if we bump heads That day that I feel like charity If not it's a beating And there ain't no use in search of a meaning Cause all it means is That you are crap and I am a genius why I'm Panama I push the parameter Can you imagine a fathom I'm sicker than average I kill him with character Benjamin Banneker Look at the marriage I stand in the damage I went from a tannica Got a look for the whole of the calendar So cold that I roll in the challenger Why you man roll with the amateurs I'm too much harder You can just call him Father McCalla But I don't talk shit like a pastor You really know that I'm smarter than half A bloody disaster If I ever start I'll probably a prodigy Make you a martyr For these crap MCs that mumble Then see me in the flesh and crumble That's Never told bad. you that I was humble No I'm not Don't lie I'm so sure in my writing ability That I feel like I'm finding divinity Sit down and me rhyme a soliloquy My agility time in his military What a scene team for the me. It seems you're fiend for the mimicry Your team couldn't dream of the synergy That I beam when I scheme when a wicked beat There goes again with the big words with best syllables Get your dictionaries out, that's what I'm about Clowns wanna shout, flash them, smash them in the mouth Bloody professor, a man of the letters I read and I read and I'm sure that I'm better Never regret an endeavour to dead an oppressor I think that the lepers that think that their pleasures are better endeavours Don't all of our pressures but See me, born in a rage, maroon blood coursing my veins As you can see I was born for the stage but I'll never be their cultural maid Some say that we're political, is what they're doing isn't Don't they preach a political doctrine called materialism But for all the Italian clothes that you wear, all German cars that you Drive, or French champagne it will buy will still be monkeys in their eyes, so why you were begging it? Who knows? Italians fight to wear Jamaican clothes, Italians call their own women for everyone's entertainment, bro. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the one with the codes that flows all over the globe. I'm bunning down shows, but still don't oil my chest and pose. Pose a threat to the power structure. Not because we're anything special, but because we're the people together. And that's the only way things change ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I kind of just told the building to pieces. these. I don't even know what to say. I, I feel like I've just been schooled for a hot minute right there. Certain MCs, you know what? Like, I don't even want to hear you. Don't call my phone. If you ain't coming to destroy and be like that, don't call my phone or you're going to get a voicemail. A Carla. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Yo, little story. Let's take him down. Yo, uh, listen. Uh. Yo, I okay. know you oh, gonna take this. this. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality Believe. we live with every day that will turn us insane. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. It's not the poverty, it's the absolutely. inequality we live with every day. Yo, listen. In a scheme of living, my life wasn't hard. But as far as Britain goes, I practically starved. Sleeping in a tracksuit, gas meter running out, electric car off as well. Candles lighting up the house, looking in my mother's eyes, I see how she feels. The strain and the pain of just paying bills that ain't real. And that's how I grew, like so many more. And that was part of who I am, I am very sure. You wanna know the rage I feel in my stomach? No, my mom and dad's blew up when I was still in her stomach. And not everything that happened, I will put in 16s, but I will tell you enough so you will know what I mean. My boy's mm. mother got cancer the same time as mine, but his mother died and mine survived. It was crazy back then When I was like 10 Already had the mental strength More than many grown men This was a couple years after My stepdad left Did he really know The crazy mess that he left Because mum done recover From the lumps in her neck But being poor And alone Couldn't cope with the stress uh, My big sis fought so much so, now I hadn't left school When she left home, I was 13 by now Still a little kid, innocent Next couple years though, we'll turn him to a militant That is the result of no food in the fridge And every other day you're getting searched by the pigs Plus these patronising teachers Though my grade's sick, trying to emasculate me Yeah, turn me to a Anna Don't mean a woman, please let me be clear 
I mean a spineless man because what do they fear? More than a working class brown male with a brain when our energy is harnessed, everything changed. Look at Pac, look at Marley, look at yeah. Hendrix, look at Garvey. This is the potential that is wasted on a daily basis. A racist, classist world that we live in. Still we coming for nothing and we educate millions. I see why it scares you. It's like how dare you overcome obstacles that we have been careful to place in your way every step of the way. In this so-called democracy where kids get sprayed, blacks and the Asians, Turks and the Chavs, crowded in council flats, living like ants. And who's more confused than so-called white trash? Talking this madness, but they want their country back. It never was yours. You should read more. What they did to brown people, they did to their own poor. But people's <laughs> memory short so much that I'm seeing black and Asian Aww. kids cuss Eastern Europeans. No pot to piss in makes competition. I fail to see how this is an effective system yeah. when cats and dogs in America and Britain eat better food than most of humanity. And we spend our technology only on killing. How is this more than sophisticated savagery? It was once said, the world is a stage, each person just an actor with a part to play, like the middle class yeah. kids and kids of the rich that have everything, but yet still they pissed on their coke and ketamine, strung out on, I ain't generalizing. Look at the evidence, so go to Glastonbury any year, you will see. But unlike Carnival, it won't be crawling with police, this is London. The kids on the very next street had a very different life experience from me. And in my experience, they can't help but be smug. After a lifetime of what they think's just good luck. But they're still more anxious and more thankless. Unearned privilege weighs like an anchor. That's why they copy what we do, trying to be what they not. They will grow up though and get better jobs. And maintain a system that they claim that they hated. They can't fight against, they got a stake in this matrix. Hip hop is just a fad to them. You didn't know? But for us, this is our living, breathing soul. And yeah, they might backpack in South America or even volunteer in an African village. But all said and done, when push comes to shove and sh hits the fan of middle class and British, and I ain't even dissing. That's just how it is. Most rich brown people are just as full of shit. So much more concerned with our cars and jewels than most of the world's poor looks just like you. So much more concerned with being privileged few and who knows, maybe me too Because absolute power corrupts absolutely But absolute powerlessness does the same It's not the poverty, it's the absolutely. inequality We live with every day that will turn us insane Absolute power corrupts absolutely But absolute powerlessness does the same It's not the poverty, it's the inequality We live with every day that will turn us insane Who's bad? A car is in the building, man! We call a real MC right here. Just schooled you, man. Please Knowledge pay is attention. Power. Knowledge Something is power. Like Carlos just put it down, I'm man. Like we just witnessed some like real legendary. I think history has just been made in the BBC building, man. Just expect it at this point. Okay. Okay. This has got to be the first person I've ever seen make the argument that black people also can be held accountable for when we see other black people not getting ahead. That's a deep message. Um, it's a bold message. I can't possibly think of anyone else I've ever seen make that message. And he's saying, and yeah, he even flipped the script on himself. He said, at the end, he said, hey, maybe even I'm a victim of this too. And he said, yeah, you might go out. And I think he said, you might go out in villages or somewhere and help out and stuff like that. But when it's all said and done, these are still people that look just like you. And I think, okay, well, I feel like he was trying to say with that is that he was aiming it more at just like um, people who were vain. And he, a big thing he was talking about was materialism and not overvaluing just stuff more than our treatment of people. And he made that point by bringing up the, uh, the, the fact that people got pets that are eating better than some other people around the world that have nothing. I'm in the United States. My, my father, my grandfather, they've always told me this message and I always heard this message. You have um, just a few quarters in my pocket. I'm richer than like a good fourth of the world's population or something don't quote me on that just a good section of some people in the world I'm more richer than them just by having quarters in my pocket and I'm just looking at him like that's insane what are you talking about and he's told me it's possible and I'm like wow um 
but Colin, he got me at the beginning when he started talking about the military. And then he said, we're all kind, all criminals in our own right because we'll go back up our governments who then will go out and go kill a whole bunch of other people. Well, that's a strong statement. He's not wrong. But I'm going to say this. Most people, when we do support their militaries, they have the intention, the hope, belief that they're protecting their own countries. I know when we talk about patriotism over here, um, that's the hope, that's the idea, that we're trying to keep our people safe. And But you're, our call is right. At some point, you have to basically say there's a point where you have to step back and realize, are you really doing that? And then when you're not doing that, that's when you have to step back, reevaluate, and just said, are we truly the helpers? Are we truly the heroes? I mean, we have that complex in the United States where it feels like we're the ones that need to be safeguarding freedom for a, for a whole bunch of people or this and that. And hey, that mentality is how freaking Donald Trump rose to power. It is what it is at this point. Um, I don't want to touch too much on that. It gets, it gets more and more political as it is. But um, Akala, he has some strong messages, as I knew he would. Um, he talked, and then he even went as far as to talk about his own family, his own personal life. And he all started off his second rap by talk he started off like the first or second line talking about my parents split before I was even born. That's that's hard. He said he talked about a stepfather leaving when he was like thirteen or twelve or thirteen or something like that. Man, I, 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 this rappers if they come out and I said this before in another video, uh or musicians period, they've always heard that people who've actually lived through something serious, through something strong always have the hardest or always have the hardest hitting music always have the hardest hitting raps because they've actually been through something themselves I've heard many writers come out and say you need to actually go through something in order to actually be able to write because otherwise it's just fake otherwise you're just copying other people and it's not legit it's not real it's not genuine a collar is real a collar is legit a collar is someone that actually puts thought and time into what he's writing and what I like about him, what I like about Dave, yeah, what I like about him, what I like about Dave so far, they've been really very skilled at putting the emotion into their raps, into their ciphers, and you really feel with them and flow with them when they're saying what they're, what they're saying, what they're saying, and Akala makes you think about things in a different light. Um, he. he Oh, and another, another thing like Kyle was basically saying that I really liked about was, um, that I really personally liked was we disregard the history of black people in the sense that there are ancient civilizations of black people that accomplish incredible things that we don't register today as being incredible things. i am like, how many people actually know about Shaka Zulu? How many people actually know about these ancient empires of, or, or anything like that? And what would it, would it attribute it to those type of people and we don't also attribute it to and then he flipped the script on that too said you even have um ancient um of different races he was talking about egypt and saying oh you oh you want to act like that's not part of africa he flipped he talked on that he talked on the celtic people he said oh we want to act like we didn't take over their land he's like want to talk like that and he was talking some legit points and i really liked it i really liked it and um yeah he had the, the first one being the message that um, knowledge is power. The first, that was his first one, I believe. And the second one, or, or the second one, I might have it reversed, being that, um, and I knew the phrase when he said it, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And whenever we talked about um, tyranny, whenever we talked about tyrannical rule, that's the phrase that's always thrown around, that I've always grown up with learning. Um, when people are given too much power, you can't necessarily trust them. You can't really ever trust them to watch out for the needs and the whole. Just watch out for a common man if they have this power, if they feel they're above you. And, yeah. Yeah, he, he said a lot. I can't even rephrase it. I, I can't even resummarize it. Akala says a lot in that time he had him, and it was all hard-hitting stuff. And that's why I like him. That's why I like him. This was just part two. Okay? 
he had he has another two of these that I'm gonna check out. He has part three, he has part four. I'm gonna check both of them out. I'm literally about to go from the, literally to from this one to the next one to the next one. I'm gonna do rapid fire just like that. But anyway, um, please send me some more uh, hard hitting the uh, hard hitting rap that you know about or hard hitting rappers or hard hitting fire in booths hard hitting black box um like in the black box that you know about or daily w's even if they're if they're hard hitting sure why not send them to me just send them to me um put the name and put the link down in the comment section below and you, as always i will give you a shout out when i pull up that video and i do my reaction video also um two other things my subscriber count. So far, I'm at 138 subscribers. I mean, awesome. That's freaking cool. Um, for like only a month and a half of doing this, this is actually pretty cool. Um, please, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you do, I promise you'll be getting more updates as you as you will be uh, now hooked into my channel. You'll be getting uh, my reactions literally as fresh when they come out. I try to drop these things in waves, so I'll drop like maybe 20 videos at a time. That way, you can just paste it. You can just check them out. Um, Maybe not at a time, but just like in a day, so it would be spread out. And um, also, well, one last thing I'm thinking about doing, I'm thinking about the future of my channel. So right now, I'm thinking about uh, what should I possibly call my channel name. My name is Rob, but I don't want my name just to be the channel name itself. I think it'd be cool if I could call myself Rob Reacts, but I'm thinking, eh, that's kind of generic. Maybe you guys would come up with something better. So please come up with some channel name ideas. If you do, I would really appreciate it. And of course, I'd give you a shout out for the best names out there. And maybe I'll even do a vote on it. So please, thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you like what you see more, please subscribe. I promise you will not regret it. Thank you. My name is Rob, and I'm out.